Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain the fasting condition seen in the body, what is happening in fasting situation and I already told you that in case of a diabetic patient, when you have to solve the questions of diabetes then use all these concepts of fasting situation because diabetic situation is same like fasting as in diabetes cells are not receiving glucose so cells will think that we are in fasting. So let's see, now I told you the main fuel for body in fed state is carbohydrate. And in fasting state, the main fuel is fats. So, let's start. In fasting situation, fasting or starvation, the main fuel in body is fats. So, adipose tissue will be broken down. Adipose tissue will be broken down to release fatty acid and glycerol. Mainly, I am concerned about fatty acid here. And the, the, the enzyme which is used here to break down triglycerides of adipose tissue is Hormone sensitive lipase. Hormone sensitive lipase is a catabolic enzyme. So, it will be inhibited by insulin, activated by glucagon, right? Now, these fatty acids will be going in blood. From blood, they will be going into liver. So, let's see what is happening in liver. In liver, what will happen to this fatty acid? Now, we have to break down fatty acid in liver to release acetyl-CoA. So, this fatty acid will be broken down by the major pathway of fatty acid breakdown. That is beta oxidation of fatty acid. Beta oxidation of fatty acid will break down this long chain fatty acid to give lots of acetyl CoA. See, when I'm talking of beta oxidation pathway, that is some catabolic pathway, then obviously I'm talking of mitochondria of liver cell because catabolic pathways occur in mitochondria. Now, this acetyl CoA in mitochondria will be obviously going into TCA cycle or it can go into ketone body synthesis pathway or it can go into gluconeogenesis. It can go into gluconeogenesis. But what is this? What is this arrow? This arrow from acetyl-CoA to gluconeogenesis which I have made because I told you that acetyl-CoA is never glucogenic. Acetyl-CoA can never form glucose because link reaction is irreversible, right? So, let's see what is the detail here? What is the hidden point here? Actually, when we say acetyl-CoA forms, uh, is going uh, towards ketone body synthesis, it simply means that acetyl-CoA is converted to, acetyl-CoA is converted to ketone bodies, that is, it is the starting material for ketone body synthesis, right? But when I have made this arrow from acetyl-CoA to gluconeogenesis, then it does not mean converted to, it means acetyl-CoA activates this pathway gluconeogenesis. That is the very first step of gluconeogenesis is activated, right? Now, let's see the compartment here. This I, I told you I am talking of mitochondria of liver cell. Let's see here. You know TC occurs in mitochondria. Ketone body synthesis, I told you it is a catabolic pathway. So, any catabolic pathway occurs in mitochondria. Then gluconeogenesis, I told you it occurs in both mitochondria and cytoplasm. But it starts from mitochondria. So, obviously, the first step of gluconeogenesis will be occurring in mitochondria. So, see the, the formula 2 which I gave you for compartments, which pathway occurs in mitochondria cytoplasm. You can easily use that formula to learn which pathway occurs where and things are very clear. There is no need to cram this thing, right? So, please follow the concepts. Do not waste your time in cramming, right? Now, one more thing. In fasting situation, there are three pathways occurring which do not occur in fed state, that is beta oxidation of fatty acid, ketone body synthesis and gluconeogenesis. Now tell me, ketone body synthesis, ketone bodies are toxic, no? They are toxic, right? Uh, so why ketone bodies are formed at that time in body when already body is not eating food? This body is about to die because of lack of this food. So why ketone bodies are synthesized? Think, why? Yes, you know ketone bodies are for brain and heart. But why can't brain and heart use glucose? Gluconeogenesis is also occurring. Why can't they use glucose? So, the reason I will tell you, it is not that ketone body is giving more energy than glucose. It is not that ketone body is a quick source of energy than glucose. No, nothing that kind of reason. This is something for the vitality of the body because ketone body as a fuel cannot be used by any other organ. It can only be used by heart and brain. Heart and brain are vital organs and right now in body, body has to take care more of vital organs, heart and brain because there is less fuel in the body. See, if glucose is the fuel for heart and brain here, then it may happen that other body organs will use this glucose because all the organs prefer glucose. 
and if heart and brain also have glucose as the preferred fuel during starvation i am specifically talking about starvation when i am talking of ketone body because you know in fasting starvation is in fasting ketone body synthesis is not occurring we are daily doing fasting during the night time right but we are not having ketone bodies raised in our blood so fasting is of shorter duration starvation is of longer duration ketone body synthesis occurs only during starvation and in starvation ketone bodies are given as a fuel to heart and brain so that other body organs cannot use this fuel ketone body so ketone body is always available for heart and brain so the reason that ketone why ketone bodies are synthesized this is for the vitality of the body that heart and brain have to use vital organs have to use this special fuel ketone body right now one more thing you have to see here in this diagram that acetyl coa has three phases in a fasting situation either it goes into tca cycle or ketone body synthesis or gluconeogenesis tell me the sequence because they can ask in the question that what is the first phase of acetyl coa what is the second phase of acetyl coa what is the third phase of acetyl coa during fasting or starvation right i have already written in the sequence first phase is tca cycle second is ketone body synthesis and third is gluconeogenesis that is this this whole thing is happening in liver see in liver there is beta oxidation of fatty acid occurring which is releasing lots of energy in liver at that point of time when body is in fasting or starvation all the body organs are having lack of fuel in the body at that point liver is having so much of energy because one fatty acid breakdown especially palmitic acid which is most of the time there in our body palmitic acid on complete breakdown gives 106 atp too many you know one glucose just gives 30 to 1 complete breakdown and one palmitic acid i'm saying gives 106 there's big difference so at that point of time in body when body is in starvation at that time liver is having too much energy with it so liver has to distribute this energy to full body but first liver will take care of himself that tca it will send the acetyl coa into tca so that tca will give energy right it will send acetyl coa into krebs cycle but once liver is satisfied with energy liver has got the energy only then liver can do the other two things ketone body synthesis and gluconeogenesis and during starvation the first thing preferred is ketone body synthesis because i told you ketone bodies are for vital organs that is for the survival of the body so we should the body should be making ketone bodies first right and once ketone bodies are released in blood after that gluconeogenesis will be occurring so that other body parts who all are using glucose who all are fighting for glucose they can get this glucose also so this is the sequence first acetyl coa phase is krebs cycle then ketone body synthesis and then activation of gluconeogenesis be careful it is not conversion to glucose right acetyl coa is never glucogenic this is it thanks for watching